pancreas is made of uh, different parts, uh, including head, neck, body, and tail. Any lesion in the body or tail, which is on the left side of pancreas, that needs resection of that part of pancreas is called left pancreatectomy or distal pancreatectomy. Spleen and uh, most parts of pancreas share the same blood supply. Depending on the reason for pancreatectomy, sometimes we need to remove the spleen with the uh, distal pancreas. If resection of pancreas is because of malignancy, any tumor on the left side of pancreas, uh, oncologically we have to remove the spleen with it because uh, there is a risk of having uh, cancer spread to the spleen. On the benign disorders like chronic pancreatitis or blind lesions like cysts, sometimes it's anatomically feasible and the vessels are not involved. We can preserve the spleen and the vessels and just remove the pancreas. There are different reasons, including malignant or blind. Uh, malignant reasons including a pancreas cancer on the body or tail of pancreas. Uh, benign reasons are uh, more broad. It can be from different type of cyst that potentially can turn to malignancy. It could be because of chronic pancreatitis on the left side of pancreas uh, or severe fibrosis or inflammation on the left side of pancreas that will benefit from resection. The recovery uh, depends on type of procedure we do. Uh, we do distal pancreatectomy either minimally invasive open. Uh, minimally invasive includes robotic or laparoscopy. We provide robotic distal pancreatectomies. And the recovery is very fast. Uh, is, uh, hospital stays maybe two or three days. And uh, patients might be a little tired after surgery for a week or two, but they get the strength back, the appetite comes back. Usually after two, three weeks, they feel much better and go back to uh, almost all normal activities. Uh, and after open procedures, the recovery might, the short recovery might be a little longer, maybe two, three days longer, but eventually the long-term recovery is the same.